Let's do bakery. This mod allows you to create a delightful bakery, satisfy your sweet cravings, and craft delicious treats. The mod adds many new food items such as bread, cupcakes, cakes, and tarts, and some of them can be placed. New foods have new effects, saturated food will provide increased satiation and prevent hunger loss, and sweets will grant a short but powerful effect that boosts your speed and strength, stackable up to 10 times. Adds lots of new crafting stations such as glazing, baking, caking, and new decorative blocks such as cake stands, bread baskets, outdoor furniture, etc. By the way, the mod is fully compatible with other popular food mods, such as Farmer's Delight, Candlelight, and more. M Copper. M Copper is a decorative mod that adds a wide variety of interactive decorative blocks. You can place various fruits and vegetables into the fruit barrel and store captured seafood in the fish barrel. If there is a parrot within a three-block radius of the scarecrow, you can right-click on the scarecrow to make the parrot perch on its shoulder. You can place the spyglass on top of the stargazing rack and right-click to adjust its angle. And shift right-click to take it back. Hanging bell can be placed on the ground or hung from the ceiling, and you can right-click on it to change its appearance. Globe is my favorite decoration, you can right-click on it to make it rotate. Gravel and fruit share the same feature as the hanging bell, which can be right-clicked to change their shape. If you have the chair rotation staff, you can right-click on a chair with it to adjust the chair's angle. In addition, chairs have modularity, meaning you can combine chairs of the same color to create a bench. If you place a table while sneaking, it will not display its legs. Lastly, the small pot can be used for cooking food, and you can place the cooked food on a tray. All of the items have exquisite textures, making them a great choice if you're looking for a new decorative mod. Multi-part machines, cooking. This mod adds multi-block kitchen, new food crafting system and 84 types of foods. Before cooking, you need to prepare some fresh vegetables, and you can acquire new vegetables by trading with the food trader. By the way, the food trader is a block, so you can always take it with you. The kitchen is the core of this mod, upgraded from a furnace. The kitchen block is a massive multifunctional machine where you can upgrade its controller to enhance its work efficiency. Its skillet section can be used to cook various types of meat, effectively cooking them thoroughly. The cooking pot can be used to stew soups, and you can use it to make mushroom gravy, vegetable gravy, rice, and pasta. In addition, this machine also includes an oven that can be used to bake chicken, potatoes, and bread until they are cooked. All cooked food can be placed and has appealing textures. You can either enjoy them individually by placing them on plates or combine them to create various delicious dishes. Like cake, their textures change as the edible portions decrease, making them great decorative items as well. Butcher's Delight Butcher's Delight has recently been updated to a newer version, and it includes optimizations for some of the item textures. When killing a peaceful mob, it will drop an object from the dead animal that needs to be processed. To process them, you will need to hang them on a meat hook, Using a cleaver will skin the animal and cut it into pieces. The dropped hides can be used in a leather tanner and with shears extract for more leather. You can also place a roaster on a campfire and then some animal item, wait for it to cook and then remove it.
By the way, this mod is compatible with Farmer's Delight. You can use the cleaver on a cutting board to process each of the animal pieces into their vanilla counterparts, increasing the amount of meat extracted from each animal. And you can use any knife as cleaver. Better Totem of Undying. This is a highly configurable mod that improves Totem by adding new features to it. Totem will not back mobs when they are too close. Totem will save you when falling into the void, teleporting you safely to the surface. Totem will destroy blocks if you are suffocating inside them. Totem will also apply water breathing effect. However, both fire resistance and water breathing effects will only be applied when needed. This means you are going to receive the effects only if you are on fire or in water, respectively. You can use Totem from Charm Slot if Curio's mod is installed. And you can use Totem from your inventory. Mod menu is recommended, and you can configure everything. Shield Expansion Expansion Shield Expansion Expansion is an add-in for Shield Expansion. It adds two new types of shields for every material tier, a regular shield and a tower shield. Tower shields are a heavier version of the normal shields, they have a longer parrying window, higher stamina, and a higher blast resistance. The shields have a faster walking speed while blocking, higher parrying damage and a lower cooldown. And all the shields have delicate textures. Lanterns belong on walls. This mod allows you to place the lantern on the side of a block, and the lantern will attach to that side. Whichever side of a block you are facing when you place it down, is the side that the lantern will attach to. And the mod adds a config system for adding support for other modded lanterns. Waystone's Compability. This mod is a suser of Waystone's two waypoints, which creates a waypoint in the Zero's world map and Zero's minimap when the player actives a waystone. Mineroli. Mineroli is a mod that adds crystals and mineral rocks. They are sparkling and have great textures, so you can easily find them at night. Additionally, they need to be mined several times and drop more materials than vanilla ores. Lucky Spelunker's Charm 2. This mod adds underground earthquakes, new items, and many cave features to spice up mining. Rocks and stones found on the ground and dropped from Tremor, comes in stone, deep slate, dripstone, and clay pile variants. Adds variants of zombie and skeleton miners that have a chance of dropping candle helmet. Occasional rumble sounds when exploring in and around the deep slate level adds to the ambience and fear. Adds deep slate geysers that generate deep in the deep slate layer near the bottom of the world, and tremors will force all geysers in the area to explode. Geyser shoots lava sprouts into the air when lava is under the block, and if water is under, it will shoot steam. Finally, the mod adds rare tremors, blocks will crack, stalactites will fall, and running will be difficult. But no worries, tremors do not break blocks, they just visually crack them. Decorative Storage This mod includes lots types of barrels, such as plants, blocks etc., you can use it for storage and decorate your base. From the Shadows from the Shadows added a new mob and a new weapon in the latest update. Buldrojayath is a hostile aquatic creature that spawns in swamp biomes. The Buldrojayath has multiple variants, and their skin color changes depending on the biome they are in. The Buldrojayath is more agile in water than on land, so it is advisable to avoid engaging with it in the swamp whenever possible. They can shoot coral venom spikes at the player, preventing them from regenerating health. The Buldrojayath often relies on heavy strikes as its common attack method, this move can forcefully knock back the player. Compared to Nehemoth, Buldrojayath has relatively simpler moves, if you engage in a battle with Buldrojayath on land, it is not overly difficult to defeat it. Thirst for Blood is a spear that allows you to shoot Nehemoth's laser beams when you right-click with it. The laser beams have the ability to ignite targets and come at the cost of consuming a significant amount of durability. 
However, unlike other weapons, the Thirst for Blood automatically regenerates some durability with each creature it kills, so go ahead and indulge in its passionate slaughter. Boost Crystal This mod adds a Boost Crystal, which can be crafted with glass, an Eye of Ender and one Echo Shard. The Boost Crystal has 3 seconds cooldown and does not deal damage, it gives 3 times greater knockback if compared to the End Crystal. With it, you can yeet yourself around the entire world. By the way, for safety reasons, remember to bring slow falling potion or a bucket of water. In addition, when chased by monsters, you can also use it to repel enemies, and it can be remotely detonated. Crosshair Bobbing This mod allows the crosshair to follow the view bobbing and play the animation according to the player's actions including bobbing animation, shaking animation for attack mobs and destroy blocks, charging animation for bow, trident and crossbow, and special animation for eating and drinking. Aqua Combat Aqua Combat provides the compatibility between all weapons in a quamory and better combat. Coral Lance and Sweet Lance gain Spear-type moves. The Dagger of Greed and Divider gain the Dagger-type moves. The Fin Cutter, Poison Blade, and Terrible Sword gain Sword-type moves. The Remnant Saber gains Cutlass-type moves. The Whisper of the Abyss gains Battle Staff-type moves. Craftable Smithing Templates This mod adds unique recipes for the various smithing templates so that they can be crafted. Server side is supported, you can install this on the server and not need to have it installed on the client side. Dense Trees Dense Trees adds trees that look similar to vanilla trees, with the only noticeable difference being occasional particle effects from the logs. Dense tree logs provide more planks per log than regular trees, making them a great choice for players who want to build and survive without depleting Minecraft's natural resources. More beautiful torches. The goal of this mod is to increase the decorative possibilities of the games, and for this, it currently adds more than 300 variants of torches, with hopes of eventually getting themed variants for each element in the game. As of today, players have available a dozen torches made exclusively of wood, stone, and redstone. Flight Potion This mod adds a balanced vanilla way to achieve creative flight by adding a new potion, the Potion of Flight. You can increase its potency with glowstone dust to unlock the full speed of creative flight for a shortened duration. Or perhaps lengthen its base form with redstone to allow for a more controlled flying experience. This mod is perfect for those who want a way to fly freely but still maintain the vanilla survival feel. Flying Castles this mod adds flying castles that are randomly generated for size, types of structures and loot so that every time it feels different. And the big stone castles even have two hidden diamond block. In addition, the castle is home to knights, archers, heavy knights, nobles, and peasants. If you intrude without caution, you may be subject to their attacks, so be careful. CD Place CD Place adds a more vanilla way to automate plants. Drop most plants on the proper soil, and they will plant themselves after a couple of seconds. Whetstones This mod adds 6 whetstones that allows you to easily repair tools in hand. You can use whetstones by holding a whetstone in one hand, and a tool in the other hand, then right-clicking it. The whetstone can repair tools that are of the same tier or lower than it. The Diamond Whetstone can repair 1561 durability, and the Netherite Whetstone can even repair 2031 durability. Break the Fall Break the Fall is a mod that lets players land on leaves without taking fall damage, adding a new level of strategy and exploration to the game. Identity Identity is a mod inspired by Morph. With Identity, you can become anything you want. By default, identities are unlocked the first time you kill a mob. Several mobs in identity have special abilities that can be used by pressing the R key. These abilities have effects that range from utility to damage and have varying cooldowns depending on their potency. 
For example, Creeper can summon an explosion around itself. Ghast can shoot a fire charge in your facing direction that goes boom on impact, perfect for annoying your friends running across bridges in the nether. Blaze can shoot a baby fireball in the direction you were looking at, lets you cook those cows with style. Enderman can teleport in the direction you're looking at. Snow Golem can shoot a barrage of snowballs at your enemy, knock them back. You can even become a wither, fire a non-destructive wither skull that deals massive damage to foes. It's important to note that your health depends on the type of creature you transform into. Some creatures can make you more powerful, while others can make you more vulnerable. Some creatures may not have special abilities, but they possess permanent effects. If you want to jump higher, you can transform into a frog, and if you want to stay in the water for a long time, you can turn into any fish. All the links are in the description, have fun!